Hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Hello, people, how are you? I am here live in my kitchen for yet another edition of Me in My Kitchen, making things that I eat during the quarantine. Um, I hope you can join me, and as you come into the room, uh, you're thinking, you're clicking on a link that's taking you somewhere that's gonna show you someone making a snack to be determined, I did not tell you what snack I was making. It's just a cliffhanger. <laughs> anyway, um, what are you guys doing? I started watching 90 Day Fiance yesterday. Does anybody out there, hi Lynn, does anybody out there watch 90 Day Fiance? Yeah. Am I the only one? I don't think so. This is not even normally a show that I would watch, but it's like, it is a pretty large train wreck mm -hmm. and we could have an intimate an intimate conversation about <laughs> 90 day fiance but not today so if you want to know what we're making today it's a savory snack because i love savory snacks for me a mini meal or a snack is more satisfying when it's like a savory item as opposed to something sweet who's with me on that all right lynn levinson is saying that, that she watches 90 day fiance <laughs> Hi, Jamie. All right, we've got Hungry Girl staffers in the audience. We have Jamie, we have Lauren in the house. And by in the house, I mean in the kitchen. We've got my sister Mary in the audience. Um, and we were talking 90 Day Fiance, but we were also talking savory snacks. And so the savory snack I'm gonna be making today, are you ready? Are you ready for the clever name? Quarantuna salad boats. Quarantuna salad boats. All right, Pam is telling me I should try Tiger King. I honestly don't really like Tiger King. I'm, I don't get mad at me because I don't like Tiger King, but I don't like Tiger King. So I am making corn tuna salad boats. Now you might be thinking, wow, Lisa or Hungry Girl, I don't know what you call me, but you know, wow, tuna salad, isn't that always healthy? And isn't that something I should know how to make already? The answer is really not necessarily. And a lot of times if you go to a diner, if you go to Subway, if you go to a deli, the tuna salad is actually the worst choice on the menu. And that is typically due to tons of mayo. So I don't really use a lot of mayo in my tuna salad. I hardly use any or I use light mayo. I tend to like mustard. Today I made a tuna salad with all things that I just had in my fridge. Um, and the thing is I have a lot of tuna recipes on hungrygirl.com so you could check them out or you could go, uh, you could sign up for the daily emails, whatever. But tuna is something that inherently is good for you until you put all the stuff in it. So what makes the tuna go bad, when bad things happen to good tuna, is when you add things like fatty mayo or just things that don't belong in your tuna, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. I'm reading your comments now. Okay, 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 very good. Today I'm starting with um, a can of tuna. Usually I use solid white albacore but i have chunk white which is fine so whatever tuna you have in your house totally fine don't even worry about it and if you have pouches you might need two pouches because this is a two serving can of tuna who likes the name corn tuna salad you do all right now before i jump into the full recipe i'm going to tell you up for grabs tonight we have pete the peacock if you know me, you know that when I am bored, which is pretty much every night, I make sticker animals out of a children's sticker book. Um, if you've never tuned in before, you've really missed out because I'm always giving away stickers that I make. These stickers are usually made by probably seven or eight year olds, but I make them myself. I'm a little older than seven or eight and I sign them and I embellish them. And his name is Pete and he is a Peacock, oh, it said that I had a low connection. It named after a peacock of a, from a friend, is a friend of mine that has a friend that has a peacock named Pete who sleeps in her friend's bed. You can sleep in bed with this Pete the peacock, but this woman actually sleeps in bed with a peacock. If you wanna win Pete, like, click loves, hearts, Tell me you want to win, Pete. Please give me Pete. Pete, Pete, Pete. I'm happy they can read it. Oh, good. You see? Yeah, I flipped the camera around and I think I look weird, but Pete looks freaking awesome. All right. So we've got, where were we? We've got our can of tuna. So what I'm going to mix in the tuna today is just what the stuff that I found in my house, in my fridge, that I thought, gee, 
this is gonna be good in tuna. And for me, red onion always tastes better than raw yellow onion. So today I'm using red onion. I am finally chopping giant hunks and big chunks of onion in my tuna salad. Who's with me? Are you with me? Let me know. Tell me, tell me. I'm reading, reading. Love corn tuna. We have nothing to do here but think of catchy names for things. Jennifer said when she was a child, she climbed into the peacock area at the local zoo. Jennifer was causing trouble at the zoo, climbed in with the peacocks. Okay, these are Hungry Girl measuring spoons. Now get this, I do not match the recipe tonight, but I match the measuring spoons. Look at, this is my cold bicep shirt. It has, look, cold biceps. Um, but yes, I match the spoons. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons in. in a perfect world, I'd probably chop it even more. Do, do, do. Two tablespoons. Next, in their tuna salad, I do. So I have two plain old boring Vlasic, not that Vlasic pickles are not delicious because they are, but they're like really run-of-the-mill dill pickles. By the way, this recipe that I'm making is going to be so low in calories. It's going to have less than 100 calories, like something like 80-something calories per little boat. Um, Lorraine says, have you ever put cacao on top of your tuna? They do this in Venice. Put what on top? Cacao. Cacao on my tuna? I thought you said, do you ever put a cow on your tuna? <laughs> cacao on tuna? I don't know. Lorraine? That's wild. That is wild. I don't, I really, who has done that other than Lorraine? <laughs> that sounds, yes. in Venice. I've never done tuna salad. All right, I'm, I am really going to load this up with pickles because I like pickles in my tuna. And... Then to help it mix up, instead of mayo today, we're using plain old run-of-the-mill French's yellow mustard. And there it is. About, this is gonna be about half a tablespoon. That's it, all you need. And then the chopped pickles going in to the tuna salad. This looks pretty, it's like colorful. It's colorful, but not in the same way my shirt is colorful. Uh, someone said they made the peanut butter breakfast oat cake, and Yay. they loved it. They loved it. Okay, so I don't really put celery in my tuna salad either because I hate to say this. I think celery makes everything a lot worse. <laughs> I like cooked celery and chicken soup, but you can keep your crunchy celery. The only way to me it tastes good is if you put, like, peanut butter and raisins on it, but, like, I like relish in tuna. There's things I like. I like raisins. I like nuts. This is just a tasty tuna salad. To make it even more tasty, we're gonna throw a little, some spices in this, a little garlic powder. We use a lot of garlic powder around here. My niece over there, the vegan, she won't eat, she puts it on everything, but she wouldn't eat it on tuna because she's vegan. Are you, you vegan know, tuna? Vegan, oh yeah, there is vegan tuna. We could show it to you in a minute if there's any people out there that are vegan. So I added a little pepper, and it is kind of colorful and pretty, but this is super low calorie and it's super healthy. Look at that in the bowl. Do you prefer albacore or regular? I mean, what you mean, like any, I prefer albacore, but I think there's a thing where people say that the chunk light has the least amount of mercury, but I eat a lot of sushi, so I probably get a lot of mercury. So <laughs> there it is. Okay, now, I have so much stuff on this cutting board, I'm gonna get rid of it. So, the thing, another thing about tuna, it is not just the mayo that does you in. It's not. I wish I could say it was just the mayo. But sometimes you put your tuna salad on a big honkin' roll and like a big piece of bread you don't need. I use, this is a cucumber, people. Does it look familiar to you? This is a giant, it's like bigger than my head, totally. This cucumber is um, a great vehicle. Sometimes I'll just cut it and make a giant sub out of it. Have you seen my pickle subs and my cucumber subs? Kevin says he misses sardine salad. I don't know that I miss sardine salad. I'm not a big fan of sardines. Sometimes there's a time and place for sardines. So I took half of that cucumber and cut it again in half. I cut it in half both ways. Now I'm gonna scoop the seeds out, which is very easy to do with like a spoon, like a teaspoon or whatever your favorite spoon is in your kitchen. That's gonna give you some room. Sorry about that. Some room where you could put your tuna. Woo, those seeds just went in my eyeball. Hold on. <laughs> Crazy runaway cucumber seeds. So now these are like little boats where you could put your salad in and you can build your, can you see this? Am I like situated? Yeah. Okay. So this is your pickled up, spiced up, mustarded up tuna salad. 
and you fill your adorable little cucumber I boat. I should move back, scoot back. Um, I never know. Tuna bowl, but you can see the oh, box. it's okay. You don't need to see. Who needs to okay. see the tuna bowl? I don't can know. They use you can you can use zucchini if you like raw zucchini. So here's the thing. I love to take a zucchini and then I bake those little boats and I make pizzas out of them, but you absolutely could use zucchini for this. I am making quarantuna salad boats. So if you are home, you're in quarantine and you want to make a fun tuna salad with the items you have in your kitchen, I'm going to recap what I used in my quarantuna salad boat. Are you ready? Get a pen and paper, but we are going to post the recipe. So I used a can of tuna. I had uh, albacore, uh, but it was chunk albacore. Then I put about a, a half a tablespoon of mustard, two pickle spears that I chopped, two tablespoons of chopped red onion, some spices, and I made this lovely, beautiful bowl of tuna. Then I took a ginormous cucumber and I sliced it in half and I sliced it in half again, and then I scooped out the seeds. So if you guys weren't watching me, I would have eaten the scooped out seeds. That's what I did this, this like earlier today when I made these for lunch. I ate the seeds. Anyway, um, someone said, this looks really good. Thank you, Lorraine. And wait, you can also win Pete the Peacock. If you are enjoying Pete the Peacock and the fact that I slaved over my kitchen table wearing readers, taking these tiny little pieces of paper, sticking them in their appropriate places, then you'll want to win Pete the Peacock. By the way, if you're still watching, which I think most of you are, tomorrow morning I'm going to be live 7.30 sharp Pacific time telling all about my hungry, my hungry Girl morning routine and my Hungry Girl Your Daily Bright Boost. Because a lot of people are asking, tell me about your daily bright boost, tell me about what you do every day and every morning. And I'm gonna show you how I make my drink and what I put in it and I'm gonna talk about intermittent fasting because as you all know, I do intermittent fasting. So I stop eating pretty early and I start 16 hours later. Yes, I do match the spoons. So I'll be on live tomorrow morning answering your questions and talking about um, intermittent fasting and this product. Hungry Girl, Your Daily Bright Boost, which luckily we can all read the box right now. All right, does anyone have any questions about the corn tuna salad boats? Because they are beautiful. Each one of these has about 87 calories and you can make like four, I don't know how many boats, four of these boats. And I guess two is a serving. We're gonna put up the recipe so you'll see exactly like can what goes down. Chicken? Can you, yeah, chicken in a can or just plain chicken? You absolutely can use chicken. Just chop it up. I actually use canned chicken sometimes. I used to be weirded out by canned chicken, but I actually kind of like it. Mm. So, you know, for me, I love to find a vehicle that doesn't add a lot of carbs and calories. And cucumbers are great, but if you're home and you've got a lot of bell peppers, you could slice your bell pepper and take the seeds out and then use your bell pepper as a boat or in that case it would be more of a raft probably, but they could be quarantine rafts and that totally works. But yes, chicken would work. I love chicken. Pre-cooked chicken is really easy too, but there you go. This is a tuna boat and that's the recipe. So what other questions do you have for me? I actually you, love the Bright Boost. A couple people are drinking it right now. Oh wow, that's amazing. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you love your daily Bright Boost. Tomorrow I am gonna be on live at 7.30 a.m. Pacific time. I'm trying to be up and showered at that time. I'm gonna to try to look as presentable as humanly possible. And I will be talking about intermittent fasting and your daily Bright Boost. Also, if you don't get the Hungry Girl daily emails, you should sign up. And if you are not notified when I do these lives, you should click the little get notified button. So Facebook will let you know when I'm here making things, but usually it's like nighttime. Tomorrow is an exception. And that may be all I got for you, unless you have more questions. Where did you get that cute shirt? Where did I get my cute shirt? I think I got it on guilt.com or Rula La, one of those websites. It's a, it's a sweater and I feel like there's only a few more days that you can wear a sweater because it's about to be 90 degrees. All right. All right. I love you all so much like you are related to me. I feel like you're all my sisters, cousins, friends. I don't know. I love you. And I love doing this. So I will be back tomorrow. I will tell you all about your daily bright boost. I'll tell you all about my routine. But for now, I'm going to go for a walk. Okay.
I think you should do that too. Stay moving, stay healthy, don't touch your face. Be careful and stay at home. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.